Baby, when I say I got a toothache out of this world on the side of my damn mouth, but I'm still here to do this video, and I'm still going to give it to y'all before I take my ass to sleep. So we're going to get right on into this episode, and I can tell you right now, this review ain't going to be long as, as, as shit, because this episode was short as shit, okay? To me, it was, because it really, I mean... No. So we're going to get right on into this shit. We're going to pick up where we left off last week, which is with the fight with Trey Howard, Dior and their minions, and um, Trey Womack. Basically, this whole beef is really about the fact that Trey Womack fucked um, Trey Howard's man, topped off his man, did whatever he wanted to do with his old man. And, you know, it's like then they was taking shots at him on social media. But what really tripped me out, and y'all know... That I love me some Dior. Y'all know that I really want to sleep with Dior. But at the end of the day, his whole excuse and his explanation about the stuffed comment was a, was full of shit. Talking about the, the, the scenes and the teaser was stuffed. Nigga, no, no, no. You full of shit, nigga. You full of shit. Because that's not what the hell you were talking about. You were calling that nigga stuff because he big. That's what you were doing and you need to stop. Stop. We don't believe you. We need more people because that's some bullshit, Dior. Like, come on now. Who the hell do you think you fooling? You ain't fooling nobody. Nobody. Not a damn soul. You know what the hell you were talking about when y'all was talking about some stuff shit. Even when you was making that damn explanation. Trey Howard was looking at you like you was goddamn stupid. Because you were. For that dumbass explanation. Come on now. You already know what the business was. You know you was calling that boy stuff. He had nothing to do with no stuff scenes. What was stuff was Trey. And that's who the fuck you were talking about. So. On, the, on your shit, just say that, yes, I was throwing shade at this big motherfucker and keep it moving. Just just say that. Now, I'm not the one calling Trey Juan Mac Big. I think that he thick and he look good with his weight. I'm not calling him fat or anything like that. I'm saying the words that they were saying. You were going in on him and that's that, okay? On it and move the hell on, Okay? Move the fuck on because you knew what you were doing. And on top of that, after they done got into this fight, whoever this nigga was with the towel on, now he looked kind of fine too. Now I ain't going to take that from him. Now he looked kind of fine. Now whose man was that? Was that um Howard man or was that Dior man? I don't know who man it was, but, but he looked good with the towel on. That's besides the point. At, at, at the end of the day, he was doing too much. I got more followers than you. I got more followers than all you bitches. Who cares about that shit? Who the hell cares about how many followers a motherfucker got? Okay, I got 4,000 followers on Instagram. Who cares? I got 4,000 followers, 18,000 subscribers. Who the fuck cares about this shit? What grade are you in, brah? Ninth grade? Who cares about how many followers you got? Because half of the followers you got don't even give a fuck about you pretty much. Most folks are just, just watching you because they don't like your ass. <laughs> Tell the truth and shame the goddamn devil. Don't nobody give a fuck about no goddamn followers. Period. Nobody cares about this shit. Then you're jumping and everybody want to say, ain't no rules to fight. And that was somebody said up under my comments the other week. Ain't no rules to fight, bitch. I don't give a fuck if it ain't no rules to shit. Jumping is weak as fuck and it's law. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. And on top of that, Trey, now I was talking about this with L. Teddy. Shout out to my boy L. Teddy with Yas Bitch TV. Shout out to my bitch Yas Bitch TV with my boy giving you the real tea. Shout out to my friend. Um, every review, now every reviews wasn't there when I was talking. Um, really be TV. When we were talking about that shit, I said this. I learned my lesson. One time I tried to run up on somebody and, and they had a crew of 10 folks behind them. I never do that shit again. First of all, I'm not scared of nobody. Let's just get that clear. I ain't scared of not a soul. But if 10 people are trying to approach me, I'm not going to try to fight no 10 hoes. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do a period. So, one man wanted, 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 uh, wanted a little bit of smoke, but he didn't realize that he was going to get smoke with the whole goddamn crew. If a nigga got a whole entourage with them, I'm not going to try to fight you. It's one of me and about 10 of y'all. I ain't got time for all that bullshit. But at the end of the day, it's like, y'all happy that you pulled out the boy toupee. Like, who gives a fuck? At the end of the day, the whole thing was a bunch of mess. It was some bullshit. And I just... 
<laughs> and then King Kane Kane as I didn't invite you for this. Oh my God, I didn't invite you for this. He sound like a whole rich white woman when he said that. But you know, I love you, Kane. I love you. So we're gonna get into Teresa G and the production meeting that he had with CJ, Trey, Dior, and Howard. Now, basically, it's some shit going in the game about some production trickery going on in this bitch. Now, they're trying to say that this whole damn fight was set up. Basically, Womack was set the fuck up to get jumped. You walked up in here with some boxing gloves on like you Ric Flair and shit. You know what I mean? So it was kind of like, bitch, we looking at you like, bitch, you came up in here to get some shit going. You already knew it was going to be a fight. You knew you wanted some smoke in a goddamn D and you got that smoke in a goddamn D because you walking up in here with boxing gloves on like you Triple H in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like you Stone Cold in this bitch. Like you Goldberg in this bitch. That's what you came up in here with. And it was like a lot of conflicting stories going around and Reese G was not having a bullshit. Now, one thing about Big Mama Thing, I don't have no problem with Big Mama Thing this season. I started off dragging Big Mama Thing, but I ain't got a problem with Big Mama Thing this season. I can just give her that much. I ain't got no problem with Big Mama Thing. So, do you? Okay, do you get these motherfuckers together? CJ, it looked like it was being a messy ass motherfucker. Like, when you blame production, you blaming everybody. Everybody looking bad. Like, when you say production set this up, you're basically saying CJ set it up. You're saying Reese G set it up. Y'all better get y'all story together. At the end of the day, it was going to be some bullshit in the first place because you bitches was sitting up there dragging a the boy on goddamn Facebook and shit. Now, Trey Howard, I do like you. So, don't get me wrong. I do like you. But you got to understand, we on my platform, everybody can get it. Everybody can get red. Everybody going to get red like a goddamn cookbook in this bitch if I feel like they're doing some bullshit. And, yes, I still want to interview you. Me and Terrence still want to interview your ass. Me, you know, Terrence, L. Teddy, everybody, we all want to interview your ass. So, yes, I and I will be interviewing Trey Womack, I got to get in contact with him with that, but we're going to get that together. So, yes, we all want to interview you. We don't really have a problem with you, but you know on my platform, my bitch going to get called out when I feel like they need to, and I felt like you needed to be called out. All y'all do. It's some trickery going on, and we don't know what the fuck it is, but hopefully we get to the bottom of it. So, Dior. Let me get up in your Zell swag fine looking ass, okay? Because you still fine. Even though I'm finna reach your ass like a motherfucking cookbook. Like a goddamn wait next hell novel, you fine. I always gotta let you know that. But motherfucker, you ain't no way in goddamn hell. You would have me waiting on your ass for two hours. I wouldn't wait on my damn mama for two hours, let alone your motherfucking ass. No, no. Don't invite me nowhere and expect me to wait on you for two hours. 30 minutes is my goddamn limit. It, 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 shit. If you ain't here in 30 minutes, bitch, I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm not waiting on no bitch for, tw for two hours. Are you serious? You can't be serious, especially when a bitch live right down the goddamn street. I don't give a damn what coin you was getting. I don't give a damn what bag you was dragging. Bitch, I'd be damned if I wait on your ass for two hours. You got me bent like hell. I swear to God you do. But basically, he invited Ariel, Carrie, Markel, Howard, and somebody else to this um dinner, but at least when they waited on his ass for two hours like a goddamn fool, like like some goddamn fools, because I wouldn't, at least he bought them some drinks. Because, bitch, I would have towed that drink up if I would have stayed my stupid ass there for two hours. But I probably would have never seen that drink because I wouldn't have waited for no damn two hours. But he talked about the fight, and pretty much, you know, he was like, I, I guess it's water under the bridge. He really said that he really didn't have an issue with me. So it's, it's water under the damn bridge. But when they asked him, was he going to New Orleans? Dior said he ain't going to New Orleans. I feel like he ain't going because he just got into that fight with one Mac and he don't feel comfortable. And I wouldn't feel comfortable either. So Reese, Ariel, and Kane, they all meet up. And Reese pretty much feels Ariel and Kane in on a production meeting. And he basically tells them how it was being said that it was a production ploy and that all of this was just set up and crafty and all of this other shit. And um, it was some recordings being played and baby, the recordings were some tea up in this bitch. Okay, now Dior had his own set of recordings, but CJ had all the recordings. He had the whole motherfucking shebang, okay? So it, it's kind of like... Apparently, Howard said, Womack must be fucking Reese to be in this circle. Why the fuck I ain't in the circle? Womack in the circle, he got to be fucking Reese G. I'm like, well, goddamn, these bitches on some other shit. 
When I tell you this reunion gonna be off the chain, I wish me and Terrence was hosting this shit. Oh, oh my God, I wish we were hosting this shit. We would get to the... Ooh. Put our brains together. We would get to the T. Trust me and believe me, we will get to the T. But that's another story. So what's going on here? Recent Dior got an issue. Recent Howard got an issue. What's going on? Because it looks like now everybody's starting to get an issue with Dior and Howard. This season has been so motherfucking interesting, though. It's way better than last season. It's miles better than last season. I will say this. But, y'all, this is my review on Chasing Dallas up in this bitch. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Scotty underscore by nature. If you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, it will be at the bottom of the damn video. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Do whatever you see fit. Please hit that bell and subscribe button. And I'm out of here, you guys. This your boy, Scotty, here for all your ratchet ass needs whether it be for commentary on reality shows such as this one hot topics or just all things real talk with that being said you guys i'm out of here till next time peace